What is up? I'm Moana Turtle, and today we have a huge Hidden Fates opening. We're going to be opening five tins, and these came from the Black Friday deal they had over at Target, where it's $10 a tin. Uh, we ordered these online, and it took a little bit to get here, uh, but that's okay. At $10 a tin, that's well worth the wait. Uh, they only had the Raichu and Gyarados ones. Uh, available at the time I was able to put in my orders uh, so we're going to be opening two of each of those and I'm tossing in a Charizard one so we have a nice round 20 packs to open today and uh, yeah so let's see if we can't get some <laughs> let's go for Charizard number three I guess all right let's do this all right we got everything open that actually took a while here is a huge stack of packs 20 packs all together and uh, if you need, still need those promos, here's a bunch of code cards. Actually, let's see, how should I do this? All right, there you go. Good luck grabbing those. The Charizard one is probably by far the best one, especially if you still need that for your Mewtwo deck. And let's just get cracking. I feel like at this point, we're kind of like pushing our luck. We were fortunate enough to pull not one but two Charizards on this channel and I do know that uh, certain people have opened tons of packs with uh, no Charizard to show for it. Um, yeah, condolences to Thrill of the Hunts. Uh, he's kind of mentioned that he's pulled, I don't know, cracked hundreds and hundreds of them with no Charizard to speak of. So yeah, hopefully we have significantly better luck than that. For our first pack we have a Wigglytuff and a Metapod. Uh, at least, you know, I hope you're very close to your master set, and uh, hopefully the only one that eludes you is that Charizard. Alright, at this point, our uh, congratulations to the winner of the ETP giveaway, and thank you all again for getting us to 800 subscribers. And uh, we're going to keep charging on and bringing you guys a daily videos. All right, next pack we have a Eevee Hollow. Ooh, first shiny off the bat, and it is Ho Oh. Uh, pretty off centered, unfortunately. So I'll just put you in some normal sleeves. I do like this Ho Oh though. It's, it's a nice shiny. All right, we'll just put you in a perfect fit for now, and uh, finish sleeving you later. All right, two packs, two hits. We're off to a good start. It's going to be a good opening, I feel. <clears throat> Alright, let's see. We have Psychic Energy, Chansey, Giovanni, Geodude, Eevee, Clefairy, Caterpie, Clefable, and Electrode. Alright, and this will be the final pack for our first tin. No idea which one it was. But yeah, after that Black Friday sale, then every once in a while you see on certain vendors like, oh, we have the pin collection for MSRP at $15 or maybe a little bit cheaper. It's like, oh, it's on sale for 12 And after picking up these, it's like, oh man, I feel like I can't buy anything else anymore because it just feels like it's overpriced or I feel like, you know, you know, I don't want to pay that much anymore after seeing these uh, really good deals. And we have our first non-GX shiny, Magnemite. I'm trying to see how the, um, whether it was, it's not glossy, it's not super textured either. Kind of hard to describe this one. But uh, hey, we got a, another shiny. So three hits for our first 10. And man, we pulled so many Magnemites. As far as my dupes list, like it's like Magnemite and then Curlia. <laughs> And then ones I don't mind, like Inke and Malamar. Alright, moving on to tin number two. Very good results from our first one. For our master collection, actually I should do a video about how we're doing as far as finishing the sets. We'll do that in the very near future. I feel like I'm really hurting on the full art supporters. The, oh, like, wow, another shiny GX. All right, we are kicking butt today. Once again, kind of off-centered. Uh, I think I do... Actually, I think I have the other one. The other Lycanroc, so this is another good addition. 
But yeah, we'll do a video showing the progress of our master sets. It is kind of tricky as I do trade um, stuff at League. So our status is kind of changing. But, uh, you know, since we're going to be doing a good amount of Hidden Fates openings from these Black Friday deals, maybe now would be a good time to kind of capture where we are. But yeah, the Full Art supporters are looting us. Quite a few of them. The gold cards, not too bad. I think we're, we have two of the four Guardians. All right, Butterfree and then Misty. So nothing too good there. Hope everyone's having a very good day. All right, let's keep going. Sabrina. Apologies for all the background noise. Hard to, not much I can do about that one, unfortunately. Geodude, Cubone, Eevee, Cleef Fairy. Oh, full art Giovanni, nice. I'm a really big fan of the two Team Rocket full arts. Um, I wish the Giovanni was a little bit stronger, like the Jesse and James uh, has its place in a handful of decks, but not so much Giovanni. I'm not sure if I've ever seen a Giovanni played. I'm, to be honest, if, if someone asked me randomly, what does Giovanni do? I couldn't even tell them. Discard up to two of your bench Pokemon that have no damage counters on them and all cards attached to them. Hmm, I mean, I guess that could technically get rid of your Dedenne, so they're not such big targets. But to spend a supporter on that... Feels pretty weak. Metapod. Yeah, if there's a particular specific use case for that card that I'm not aware of, let me know in a comment down below, because... I almost feels like a shame. It looks so nice. G uh, Blaine and then Ekans. All right, so I think uh, I think that was the it for the second tin. We did get two hits, so no complaints there. All right, Farfetch, Jinx, Misty, Geodude, Eevee. Cleef Fairy, Caterpie, Ekans, Kangaskhan. Oh, nice. Shiny Charmander. This is one that I do want more of. And I feel like this is this uh, kind of like neither the textured nor the super glossy. I guess this is the normal. <laughs> the normal print run. Let's see how we're doing on centering. Uh, not bad, but not perfect. I feel like it's a little shifted to the left. So, but very welcome hit right there. I think we still need a couple non-GX shinies. Uh, I know one of them is Buzzwall. And like I think another fighting. There's just like a two card gap in the fighting section. Maybe it's a like uh, rock rough or something. No, I feel like I have that. But I think we're missing two from non-GX non shinies. All right, Paris, Caterpie, Charmander, Cleef Fairy, Mr. Mime, oh my, oh nice, this one is in such high demand, and, ooh, actually, maybe that's a good PSA candidate, Umbreon is so popular, I totally underestimated him, uh, I feel like there's, no, actually, no, that corner's fine too, hmm, you know, I'm gonna put him in a uh, penny sleeve, actually, and, Maybe he is a good candidate to go off to PSA. Umbreon is one that we need in our binder collection, but uh, this guy is very well centered. Ooh. Shout out to Pokemon Lover95. Uh, the first one we pulled, we actually sent to him. Hope you're doing well, my friend. Shout out to everyone on the Discord, and especially everyone that joins us on our streams. We do live stream PTCGO Monday, Tuesday, and Thursdays. So if you haven't checked one of those out, definitely do so. We do tons of PTCGO pack giveaways throughout the stream using that Twitch currency. Ah, another Wigglytuff. Oh, wow, that's a loaded pack. And Feramosa, shiny as well. 
this one I feel like they're all kind of off-center in the same way must be you know all these probably came from the uh, Gyarados and Raichu tins they're all kind of like off-center a little bit too when you're facing looking at the back to the left but uh, I feel like the hit ratios off of these tins are great so far Especially after that double hit, I almost feel like we're doing better than 50%. Alright, let's get a supporter or gold card. Let's get one of those for this opening. That's my goal at this point. Because yeah, we're doing very we're doing fine on the ratio. But at this point, let's start filling in some gaps in the remainder of our master sets. Golem is the rare slot, and then just a Lapras. This is the boring Lapras. <laughs> Most of the Laprases are pretty cool. This one is very much not so. Not, not the case for that one. Alright, how are we doing on packs? Wow, this went really fast, actually. And as always, guys, if you do want to support the I Want a Turtle TCG channel, you can always hit that like button and uh, subscribe if you're not already. Join the Discord, follow us on Instagram. Although I'm not that good about posting on Instagram. All right, Misty's Water Command. Ooh, all right, our first reverse energy. Don't mind picking up a bunch of those. The only thing about those reverse energies, I wish they had a better foil pattern or any kind of pattern. It's just kind of uniform throughout. If you take, for example, the Battle Arena decks, the way that those energies are foiled is much better. It, it almost reminds me of like the the Japanese foil pattern for their foil cards. It feels very similar to that, how it's very weight. Actually, if you kind of look at these ones, um, those promos has a very similar foil pattern. All right, Voltorb, Coughing, Cubone, Lapras, another Lapras. Oh, nice! We didn't get a gold card just like I asked. Maybe I should have been a little bit more specific. Oh, this one is pretty well centered. I feel like there's a nick on the top corner, though. So it probably won't send this one to be graded. Unfortunately, I believe we have one, if not multiple, of this one. So I'm not sure which ones we still need, but... Pretty sure we have this one. Ether Paradise Conservation Area. Actually, I, f I fought a deck which was Alolan Executor, and this combined with the Shaman that can heal, combined with the Leaveny which reduces damage. My Malamar deck had no way to do damage. It was a little discouraging. But uh, hey, we got our gold card. <laughs> And so I'm not sure what else we could ask for in this opening. Obviously, you know, there's those jackpot hits, but I mean, chances of that are extremely low. I don't know. Let's get a gold guardian. Is that, is that all I have to do is just ask? Onyx GX for another hit and a Drampa. Oh my gosh, these hit ratios are insane. Drampa, I believe we have Drampa already. But we will definitely do a progress for our master set. In an upcoming video so stay tuned for that i have no idea how many packs we've opened but i have tr traded a bunch of uh shinies the hidden fate set is very popular at leagues and such all right magmar scyther and looks like we only have four packs remaining so this is the last one of our fourth tin with one more to go. Bill's Analysis. And then Cubone. One of my favorite Pokemon is Cubone. Alright, on to our final tin. We have a Psychic Energy. Giovanni's Exile. Koga's Trap. LT Surge. Eevee. Jigglypuff. Coughing. Star you Ekans, another boring Lapras. I do kind of like the art though with the little ball. And then Giovanni. Three packs remaining of a very successful opening. 
If these all are whiffs, I would still be very content with the results. Scyther, Metapod, Magmar, Geodude, Slowpoke, Cleaf Fairy, Jigglypuff, Caterpie, another Zapdos, and Paris. So we'll probably have a couple more of these um, Black Friday openings. We'll, we'll stretch them out, like kind of space them out. So especially with the next set not dropping till February, we might have a bit of a lull as far as opening new stuff. Uh, I kind of missed the boat on the Sword and Shield Japanese pack, so we might just skip that one and wait for it to come out in English. Erica's Hospitality. Oh, Shiny Route. That's another one I feel like I pull a lot of. And... Uh, Although I don't mind it. Um, although the art, I like Rowlet. I think Rowlet's really cute. I would say this is not the best Rowlet art out there. And for a shiny, he doesn't change all that much. But we will definitely take that. All right, last pack for a very good opening. And we got something. <laughs> last pack magic confirmed. Engage. Let's see what we can do. Let's see. Let's try to call it. Let's go with a. Let's go with a shiny Guzzlord. How about that? That is our guess. Cuffing, Cubone. Oh no! It's Jesse and James. So we did pull both of the Rocket Full Art supporters. This one is the better one. And man, that's such a good art. And ah, just the Ekans, but another full art. Although none of the uh, shiny vault full art supporters, but we did get a gold stadium. All right, so we'll do a quick recap in reverse order. We got Jesse, Alexa, stop. <laughs> Not sure what just happened there. Rowlet, Dramba, Onyx, a third Paradise Conservation Air gold card, nice. Pheromosa. Wigglytuff, I think we got two of those. Umbreon, and it's pretty well centered as well. Charmander, Giovanni, Lycanroc, Magnemite, and Ho-Oh, and then another Wigglytuff. So, so many pulls. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 15 hits out of 20 packs. We, went for, we were going 75% for our ratio. I actually include the water energy, so it's a little bit less. But uh, either way, that was an amazing opening. As always, guys, thanks for watching. Do me a favor, hit that like button down below. And um, yeah, thanks for watching. I'm Moana Turtle, and I'll catch you guys next time.